right now to an issue that should give parents some hope. Worried about a woke teaching agenda on everything from a fluidity, gender fluidity and climate crisis, all of that. Well, more and more parents agree with you and they are now successfully starting up their own small schools in what's been dubbed a renaissance of classical education. This year in Sydney, Hartford College opened its doors. It's a school that aims to educate students in the classical liberal arts tradition that acknowledges the brilliance of Western civilization and about giving parents greater autonomy over issues like staffing and what the kids are actually taught. Joining me now to discuss this very important development is Australian Catholic University Senior Fellow, Dr Kevin Donnelly, education ex expert, of course, as he is. Um, I'll get to what you were doing yesterday in a moment, but just explain to people what we mean by classical liberal theory. Well, firstly, Peter, it goes back to, uh, as you say, Western civilization. The foundation goes back to uh, Greece, to Rome, to philosophers like uh, Aristotle, Plato, Socrates, even uh, Greek tragedy uh, like uh, Medea, Oedipus, that's included. Uh, stories like the Iliad, the Odyssey. So it's a classical education in the sense that the content goes back to that uh, foundation of Western culture. It obviously goes through time, whether it's uh, the Renaissance, the Reformation, up to today. It's not all about the past. It's actually about continuity as well as uh, the future. It uh, is also based on the idea that education should be impartial, disinterested, and deal with truth. It's not about indoctrination. It's not about forcing ideas on children, students. It's about giving them the knowledge and the skill and the free will, the conscience, to make up their own mind. Yeah, it's, it's nurturing an inquiring mind, and of course, if you're watching this tonight and you're over the age of probably about, I don't know, 45, probably closer to 50, it's phonics, you know, it's grammar, it's penmanship, it's a, it's a chronological history, all the things that aren't taught so much anymore. Yesterday, you were at Campion College in Sydney. All of this was discussed. There's talk of even more schools starting up, Kevin. What can you tell us? Well, there are about, well, there's over 300 non-denominational and Christian schools around Australia. Many of those increasingly are committed to a liberal uh, classical education. And the good news, too, is that there were people there yesterday at Campion. Uh, it's a liberal arts college in Sydney. People from the Sydney Archdiocese, the Melbourne Archdiocese. So even uh, it's it's spreading. It's not just autonomous schools where parents are setting it up but that's where the focus was yesterday because whether it's sydney brisbane melbourne wagga toowoomba perth there are more and more local communities wanting that subsidiarity they want control as you said over staffing over curriculum mm. focus and they want ownership over it and i think that's a very good thing I've visited some of these schools in the United Kingdom uh, in my previous life in, in politics. It's a real movement. Is that the movement that's been brought here? Like, what's the genesis of it here in Australia? Well, interestingly enough, uh, when you look at COVID, especially in Victoria, where we were locked down for over two years and uh, students missed over uh, three or four terms of, of schooling, parents, because they were at home with their children looking at what was what work was being done, began to realise that it was uh, not what they wanted. They want, parents want something spiritually, morally, intellectually challenging and rigorous. Now that happened, as you know, in Florida, in Virginia, and that's why they're now Republican governors because parents started to mm -hmm. mobilise. I spoke to a couple of parents from Adelaide in South Australia. They call themselves uh, mummy bears, which I think is quite uh, unusual, but. They're starting schools in Adelaide. They're having a big conference later this year. Parents are beginning to uh, become uh, conscious of the danger of the curriculum that's being taught in most schools in a society which is increasingly challenging. And uh, much of what children are learning now is all about uh, negativity, about how the world's about to end. And there's no real focus on mm. what's positive, what's morally and spiritually life affirming. And that's what parents want. So it's similar to the uh, free schools in England, 
to the charter schools in America. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a marvellous example mm -hmm. of uh, what community action ground up can achieve. All right, I'm out of time, Kevin, but is there somewhere people watching tonight can go for more information? Well, the easiest thing to do would be I obviously organised the uh, the seminar at Campion uh, yesterday. If they want more information, feel free to uh, email me uh, and whether you can uh, put that up on the screen at some stage, but it's Kevin D, Kevin at netspace.net.au. All right, head to my Instagram page, Peter Credlin AO. I'll have Kevin's details there and uh, you can DM us and we'll get them to you. Thank you for your time, Dr. Kevin Donnelly.